Welcome in to another loadout race. Um, this is here at the start of the week two. In the top left, um, in the, what is that? Kind of like a, is that default real gunner? Yeah, I think it is. Maybe a little bit green. We have actor. Um, so when we saw struggle a little bit last week, but uh, is here for another chance, another opportunity to try and, and improve um, that he belongs here in this league, that he can uh, finish a loadout. Same with uh, right beneath him, Wally Wog, uh, standing right next to the Blood Shrine in the, in the blood red Railgunner color. Um, it's down there. Two racers who, who really struggled. And yeah, there you go. I like to see that aggression from Wally. There you go. Hit that blood, try and get that money, try and get some items. Uh, and with the crowbar in the bottom left, we see K in his signature. Uh, what was that? Like carnation pink? It's like a light pink. Not quite missing texture pink. Um, over there in the seventh position, we added we added numbers to to all the names of the racers. Uh, to show where they are in the standings, there are 28 racers to, uh, to give a heads up or give an idea, a sense of scale as to where everyone is. Um, so very much, very polarized. <laughs> uh, in the in the the top right. Speaking of polarized, uh, they're using polar minds. But in top right, we have Tylor in kind of like a blue indigo, and he absolutely nailed last week. He's doing really, really good. Uh, here as the current second seed, if the racers at the end of the league can remain in uh, one of the top two seeds, they get the first two weeks uh, free in the tournament. They don't even have to have to race anybody. They, they just go right into the semifinals. So that's a, a really desirable position, and a position that he's going to have to fight for uh, against K, who can try and, and steal that and, and snag that from him uh, here today. These polar mines, yes, I know there's the polar field. They're the polar field devices. Come on. <laughs> and we did have a, uh, we did have a, oh, what was it? We had the, the concussion devices. I believe that was in one of the loadouts uh, up on YouTube. The most latest upload, actually. The one with the, uh, the recycling bag and the trophy being held. Alright, so what's going on here, anyway? As they're doing stage one, as things are going pretty pretty smooth, pretty fast, right? Hitting the TP, I mean, K hit it, in the, like, the first minute in there. Uh, found a crowbar, and it's like, alright, time to go. And gets a feather. Okay, feather's the boss item. So this is going to be really easy. Obviously, they don't have the mines, they're, they're not able to... Oh my god! Oh my god, Wally, what's going on here? What's going on, my guy? <laughs> Hang tight! One hit and Wally's out. He does have a healing drone. Be careful. Would definitely help if he had a, a certain device to, to be able to, to push the golems away or to run away from the golems a little bit easier. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. That was close. There you go. There's the polar field. Don't die from it. Hope there'll be more variety with loadouts in this week. I mean, it's only... Oh, God. He's walking backwards in the polar field. That's just asking to die. There's just a bunch of random projectiles just sitting there. He's lucky he didn't get hit. Gets hit by the blind pest, though. And, okay, he's chilling. Okay, he's looting the stage after TP. Found a couple chests. What's inside? This one by the trunk. Let's see. That is... No way. Double crowbar. Oh, <laughs> on supercharged railgunner? If you're using the cryo, it's like, okay, that's cool. Crowbars are neat. Supercharge? Everything's gonna die in one shot. If you land that crit- oh, Tyler found that one. We find the other. Who knows? Whew. Surely laser scope happens. Yo, what up, Zerlith? Uh... That'd be very unlikely. I mean, laser scope isn't even that good of an item on Rail Gunner. It's like, what, 50% more damage? On headshots? It's like a death mark's worth of damage, which is good. But it's like you can also just have two launches. Pretty much the same thing. I 
All right. Is there anyone that doesn't get to any crowbars? Okay, no. Tyler only gets one, though. We'll see if that makes a difference. Tyler does have an, uh, a goat hoof, while Kate doesn't. Tyler also has the Gorag's Opus over the uh, Primordial Cube. So able to definitely get around from point A to point B a lot faster. And a stage like a Phalian Sanctuary, that's going to be nice. We'll be able to gain access to a lot, many chests a lot, uh, a lot quicker. Double Firework on uh, Wally Wog. Who's just leaving the TP only a few seconds behind of K. Right, he might be 20... Is that like 19 positions lower <laughs> than K on the, on the leaderboard, but... Early game, I feel like Wally's got pretty well down. We saw in in, in previous loadouts, in previous races, uh, Wally do good at the start. It's going to be the end. It's going to be Mythrix. It's going to be stage 5. How does he handle the mid game, the late game? Right. That could make a big difference. Actor, by the way, the only one still on stage 1, found... Not only the Goat Hoof, not only a Syringe, has two stickies, one more than everyone else, and has a rusted key. So maybe we might see a nice key item up here. Oh, you printed them. Okay. Printed fireworks. Hmm. All right. It's a move. Certainly one of the moves of all time. Hey! Hold up. Look at that. You see a quail? I see a quail. Those are nice. If you get one quail when you're doing a loadout race... Oh. Bottom right. Uh, K just instantly annihilated that Beetle Queen, by the way. Gets a Warhorn. Can be really good with a supercharge, right? Activate your equipment. Use the supercharge. Cools down is like one second. <laughs> it's nice to have one of those. Frees up your... Uh, your M2, and other things. Alright, how's Actor doing? Gotta check up on the others. Actor's opting just to go for the M1s. Oh, come on there. There's a shot. Very nice. Just makes it to stage 2. And doesn't want to go for that equipment barrel, that's interesting. There's an equipment barrel on spawn. It only gives Gubo. Actors is thinking about other things. Right, has the Gorags, which I think with a fuel cell, or even without a fuel cell, is already a pillar skip. Ah, uh, maybe you need the cell with uh with polar fields. Beetle Queen one shot with one crowbar on uh on Tyler's screen, by the way. Has two bison steak. Was it Ages from Actors with Keybox? Oh, no. No, we're going back for that one. Already, already opened it? How long ago did he open this? Oh, there it is. <laughs> right from spawn. It is running away. That's interesting. There's the equipment barrel right on spawn. Any opt for that? Okay. Well, that's an Aegis. Not really gonna do anything for you. We were thinking, you know, I was talking earlier, maybe the maybe the the rusted box does something. <laughs> oh man. At least the good news is is that maybe if there's a rusted box it's like hard to find later on and all the racers are really looking for it. Actor got that right out of spawn. Gets the Aegis out of the way. Doesn't have to worry about seeking it out. And that's a watch printer. Right in that corner. Actor runs right past it, doesn't want to give up the crowbar, the attack speed, or the, the stickies. Keep in mind the 3.0 proc coefficient has a 30% chance currently to proc a uh, sticky bomb on supercharge. You get a few more of those, and it's pretty much guaranteed. But you know what else is guaranteed is uh, double damage with four watches. That's what K opted for. Tyler opted to first go for the teleport, or maybe thinking about those watches. is the only one with the quail.
Yeah, K just K's on the, the stage three. Went to rally point. And has four watches, has a crowbar, right? K knows he can essentially one-shot Mythrix, can essentially one-shot any enemy that spawns in with the M2. Use the supercharge on the big guys. Is opting to go for Preon. Alright. That's a Preon take. Easy. You know, who isn't having such an easy time right now? Actor. Did not one shot the Beetle Queen. Missed the sweet spot, I'm assuming. And is taking a lot of hits. Gotta look out. Oh, wow, those Slunders are getting real close. Look out. Uses a supercharge in that, okay. Getting a little bit sus. Oh, jeez. Has 17 health. Has to run. Has the feather. We'll be able to survive. We'll be able to land. Oh, man. Just from missing one supercharge headshot on that Beetle Queen. Again, I'm assuming... Oh, that vent stuss. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, actor. You are really starting to scare me. Just one stray... Yeah, I don't know if that was a Beetle Guard Slender. I don't know if that was a... A, a blind pest shot, but... Yikes. He might win with watch print. I disagree. I think the watch print's nice, but K is without uh, the Wax Quail. Which, in a loadout where you don't have any movement speed... Right, you're using Supercharge, you don't even have the boost from the, the Cryo. You don't have the boost from the Mines. He doesn't have the Quail. He doesn't have the two mochas. Right, Tyler's got mobility. And maybe if he just finds like one band or something, he's gonna be in a good spot. You know who else is in a pretty good spot? I mean, kind of in the middle ground. Didn't print watches either. Wallywog. Coming in at 11, 12 minutes. Right, someone who didn't even place either of his two load, uh, two loadouts. And doesn't look like it. I mean, he has the three bison steak, which isn't good. But if you just find a scrapper, boom, that's minus three steak. Which is nice. And find one good printer. Right, that's, that's, that's scrap bait building up. Uh, okay, maybe I'm seeing a little bit why. Gotta be careful with those, those fireworks. You wanna see something funny? Check this out, chat. Bit rating, but it's fine, because we get back. That's what happens when you go in time. Back in time. There we go. Observe. Wallywog has fireworks. At full health, no curse taken. See that barrel? Oh, there's those fusion cells right next. Literally right next. Like, right here. If those fireworks go off from the teleport, they're going to hit the fuel cells, and he's going to blow up. Boom. He's lucky he didn't take any damage earlier. Because that would have been a plus five from fireworks. Which we've already seen multiple times. Lands the crit there. Only one crowbar. The boss is level eight? Level nine? Oh god, be careful. Those fuel cells are still there. Ugh. Okay, actually taking a few hits too from the uh, the rats there. Using Polar Field though, so it's okay. I feel like the one good thing that Polar Field has is dealing with these rats. Out of all things in this game, those rats actually get countered pretty well from the Polar Field. Uh-oh. Mollywog. One spike from death, one blind pest shot from death. Which would be great for Actor, who's still on stage two. Who... Died once, right? Is that 18 minutes, 4 seconds? Real time. Sees a printer? Little Disciple printer. Wow. That would be okay. It's not really super duper necessary on Railgunner, where you're already killing stuff in one hit. That's the Soulbound. Soulbound discovered on Tyler. Crowbar discovered on Tyler. K is just seconds behind him. And Wallywog. Holding on for dear life only has a med kit and a healing drone for healing. Which I don't even know where that drone is. It's it's everywhere but on Ty, uh, on Wog. Getting no healing from that. Kind of love it when they just kind of vanish. 
they like get caught on a wall or something or or start getting shot up by pests yeah there they go there we go the pests wally's at 50 health hang on there just one pest shot and actor is suddenly looking in a much better spot which speaking of actor found the watch printer hopefully it doesn't plus five again We'll blind print. Yeah, there goes Wally. Plus fives. It's going to take two watches. Tyler on the stage four TP. Already halfway through. K just seconds behind him. And real time is actually about 20 seconds behind, though. So Tyler's got a tiny bit of a lead there. 20 seconds can mean a lot, though, in, the long, in, the, in a race like this. In a loadout race where the items are great, it just takes 20 seconds or so. And I, again, I think it's that mobility. Just being able to move faster, able to get from TP to TP faster, as long as you're just charging those TPs and leaving with whatever loot you got. Even if you're doing less damage, right? You can kill a boss in one second, but you still gotta sit in the TP for, what, 90 seconds? Oh, there's a Molten Perforator. Molten Perforator is the item. Keep in mind, again, Supercharged, 3.0 proc coefficient. Three times more likely to send out one of those those perforators and if one does come out it's essentially a one shot where was the scrapper i'm not sure i think uh tyler saw one a while ago oh the aegis was left behind of all the things, the 15 minutes it took for Actor to get the stage 3 forgets the Aegis. I mean, it's not really lo you're not really losing out on anything. The only big thing you're really losing when you miss something like an Aegis is if you get to the moon and there's a white soup and it's like Goat Hoof or Energy Drink or, you know, something that actually is going to do something for your build. Some form of damage, right? Watches, Focus Crystal even sometimes. I don't mind a focus crystal on a real gunner. You get the phase three, you just stand right next to where Metric spawns and he dies. <laughs> Equipment on uh, Tyler finds wings. That's a guaranteed pillar skip. Wow. We'll see if anyone else finds that. Wally Wog did find the uh, soul bound, did find the other crowbar. And there's the Aegis. Was that from the Rusty Key? Hold on. That's the rest of the key box, right? For Tyler? Let's observe. DLC moment. There it is. He's running over. See, this is where Actor saves time from that Aegis. Tyler's going to walk all the way over. He's looking at, oh man, here's this rusty key chest. Haha, I will waste 20 seconds to walk over to an Aegis. Boom. Plus one Aegis. The first one with the Aegis. <laughs> Here in week two. Well done. All right, we got ukulele. Again, 3.0 proc coefficient. Gonna really easily ha uh, handle crowds of enemies with that uke. And you got the Molten Perforator. And you got a sticky. A bit of a proc chain starting to build up here for some of these racers. And K gets swings, but not from this equi- Oh no. Okay. I am so sorry. You just rolled for wings. And his wigs. <laughs> oh, unfortunate. Uh, and we'll have to leave. Could have had something else. Could have had an energy drink. Again, K was struggling with with mobility. Right, only has the one hoof and the in the mocha. Did not get the the wax quail on stage five, and is just slowly getting behind. There's a fuel cell. Anyone sticks to Gorag's opus, they will be able to skip. If they do not get wings. Or two Gopus game birds on the left. Might be in a good spot. Not so good in a spot. Uh, we have Wally Wog. Okay, there we go. You're, when you're Railgunner, you just one-shot everything, right? It what? The... Okay. Huh? <laughs> VLC, back in the past. Let's go. Observe. Wally Wog. Here he is. 
Souls Control Unit, get that out of here. Boom, blasted. But it's going to be right around here. Or is it right here? Oh, I'm pausing too much. I'm getting VLC'd. There it was. <laughs> you know, Mom always said when I was young to look both ways before crossing the street. Well, when you're about to peek out from a, a position like that, obviously, maybe you could have heard it a little bit. But make sure you're, you're checking all of your corners before you're scoping in on Railgunner. And it's so hard to just, just go for those shots, right? Every time you scope in and get a headshot, it's pretty much a one-shot kill. But you don't want to be one shot in return. And that unfortunately happened to Wally. But while that's happened to Wally, look where Kay is. Done with the TP, the boss item, by the way. ATG missile launcher. Tyler in a very situation, about to get the kill. Gets the kill using those wings. And is going to see ATG. Nice. Good stuff. You'll love to see it. There's the ATG for both racers, and it's just a matter of, of time between K, between Tyler. We'll see, K does have three more watches for damage. So it's a difference of, of speed that Tyler has. We'll be able to get to the get to the moon faster, right? We'll be able to get to Mithrix anyway, not the moon. I guess he'll get to the moon faster as well. You might also Tyler. You know, K and Tyler look identical on TP charge time. It's only a difference of about like three percent. But Tyler does have that twenty second advantage. I'm starting earlier or starting later. Actor finally getting out of stage three. Has a lot of time to make up. But while it's looking very unlikely, unless there's a lot of uh, deaths that happen to our uh, veteran racers on the right here, um, it's looking like it's going to be a battle for third place between Wally and Actor. But the good news is for both racers, unless they, they really choke, which Wally here is really getting low on health. Oh, base found on Tyler. That's even more time being saved. K isn't getting that. K is sticking with the wings. Oh, no. K has base. But K needs to wait 40 seconds before he can use base. Tyler can just use his first charge in the fuel cell. And Wally plus fived. Yeah, it's at three now. Three plus fives. Actor has a 10 minute advantage against Wally for third place. I'm calling two different games here right now. Tyler zooms ahead. We'll have his next charge ready in three seconds. Has double quail. Is going to be able to run all the way up. Oh, Kate gets one quail. Okay. Hmm. I think it's going to be a matter of who gets the better procs, right? You have a good 3.0 proc coefficient if you're Railgunner. Tyler wasting a little bit of time trying to look at the, uh, the soups. Just go up. Just go up. You got, you're got. you at 20 minutes. You don't need to know. Oh, there's Renaud's band. Okay. Is it... Uh, yeah, you, you get your vase back. You get another charge of vase. Wallywog about to die again. Has the TP charge done. Or not the charge of the TP, but the boss done. I think he's at 98, 99. Don't die to that jelly. Stay alive. Don't die. You can't afford any more deaths. Okay, no more stickies. For Tylor. There's a gasoline. If you really want to get rid of your Aegis, don't get rid of the Aegis. You're wasting time. See, this is this is like 30, 40 seconds being wasted. You don't need stun grenade. You don't need to, to get three gasoline. Yes, you do have the Aegis. It's not worth. What is three gasoline gonna do for you when you have two crowbars? When you have have all sorts of other stuff and all the lead that Tyler had will now need to seriously make up some time as he gets ready to go up. Will he aim it? He gets a little impatient here. I think that's going to be good for Tylor. Well, he's about to die, but we'll need to preemptively use your M1. Maybe you could have gotten up there. You could just use another vase. There you go. Makes it to the fight. Like a solid minute later, Kay's already on the, on the moon. It's phase two of, of the Mythrix fight.
Here we go. Half of Mithrix's health is dealt in the first blast from Tylor. But K is just... He's just already almost done. Even just going for that one Ice Band. Maybe could have been worth if you just went straight for the band. And unless K just eats a slice of pizza right now. Which could happen. I highly doubt. Okay, not going to get swiped. ATG proc And there you go. There's a few good procs. Remember, 3.0 proc coefficient. You're going to get a lot of procs. It's going to make life so much easier for you. Right, by going for that ice band, you lose that 30% chance of getting a sticky bomb per supercharge. And, and, and just from sheer experience, right, Tylor, a really good racer, but it's still a little bit new to the scene. Maybe didn't quite calculate everything super properly here, right? It's still just on phase two where, I mean, I think he could have been easily done. Molten Perforator is huge, especially taking out those Glooms in Phase 2, especially during Pizza for Mythrix. And K's gonna win. GG. And K says slow. Okay, K. You're gonna call a sub-25 slow? Come on. <laughs> uh, how are our other racers doing? Wally still has a plus five ever since that last one we saw. Actor found a Dio's best friend from a lockbox. Keep in mind the first lockbox found gave the Aegis. So by, you know, continuing through, by, by leaving it behind and not taking too much time, was able to get something a little bit better. Might have that come in handy, especially being 10 minutes behind Wally if Wally dies a couple more times. And if Actor dies a couple more times, right? Looking at good times overall. Braxer here by having that that minus five minutes. Not a plus five. I guess it's a, a plus zero. I think that's what they call it. Actor going for the uh, worship unit skip. Or not skip, but just a, a hit to try and insta-kill it. It's not insta-kill it. We'll now need to take quite a few minutes. Though if you get one good application of the... the uh, I was thinking maybe Molten Perforator could, could do something there, but Actor decides, uh-uh, this is going to take way too much time, and it probably is. Moves on to the next stage. No amount, no red is going to be worth taking three or so minutes of your time. Not in a loadout like this where people are getting 25s. And K is done. While Tywar is on phase four. Should just be a few shots for him. Uh, 2455 for K. So that's the time to uh, deny is going to be a 2955. Here we go. And we can just go ahead and get him off the screen there. GG to K. Tyler took a few hits there during phase four. Pretty low on health. Is gonna be fine. You know, it's not so fine though. Is Wally Wog, who's taking some damage. That's a plus five splash damage from the uh, the elder, takes him out. Brand drone not giving enough damage to, to take that out, and now is getting harassed by some not Gup, the second variant. What are they? Geep. That's their name. Getting harassed by some Geep. Gets a power elixir, a power elixir that he could have used maybe to, sur to survive earlier. Still needs to activate the TP. An actor here who took so much more time on stage four, on stage three, on stage two, is just about caught up to Wally, who's been sitting around on stage five for quite some time. Wally does find a gun, though. Might be thinking about a, a potential... Um, 
to be like a, a soulless, what is it, what is it, empathy core? Yes. Thinking about empathy cores. I believe the boss is, isn't the boss soulless here? Yeah. So I was going to go get one of those, has to still kill another boss. Don't want to greed that. Okay. Tile Lord just finishing up his charge. And does get the denial of points. No grubbing on the ship. Points are denied. K will only get three. K, despite being one of the, the be better racers out here, has still yet to get a single bonus point in any loadout here in the hosting league. 2733 is the time for Tyler there. We can start handing out points. We can go ahead and do this as well. Da -da. All right. Standings. Tyler gets two. K gets three. And the time to beat. The time to complete. Is going to end up being. Was that a 64.55? So Wally's got to be careful with his plus fives here. Standing currently at 54 minutes. Actually, it's down to 10 minutes before he's going to be done for. Has so many plus fives. I think I missed a couple there. It's really just, really just struggling. Had such a good start. And there's another plus five. Wally's not going to be able to finish this loadout. Such a free loadout. The only thing this loadout was missing, something that Wally would, would probably really benefit from, some defense. I think he's got two armor plates, and that's it. And is down to about 150 health, regardless of if he completes this or not. It's going to be pulled out here unless he gets that base upstairs and, and does a, a three-minute Mythrix, which might be possible. Well, we'll have to see. Actor, meanwhile, only with one plus five, still has that Dio's best friend. It's feeling pretty good. Neither racer here has yet to complete a single loadout. And there we go. There's the first shot. One shot, one kill for, for Actor. Taking care of those small enemies. It's like another uh, Souls Control unit's almost dead. Yeah, it's at like one health. It didn't actually one shot. Okay. It's going to use... Yeah, the supercharge isn't quite enough, but a sticky bomb is. There you go. Actor has four sticky bombs. That's huge. That's massive. Finds the ATG. Has the wings. Isn't dying. Look how many... How Just how defensive Actor's going here. Maybe not looking at a first place. Maybe was, was hoping that some of the other racers would really struggle and just make a bunch of, of accidental mistakes and... and and while Kay and, and, and Tyler, while neither of them have done that, uh, Wally has taken many plus fives. Right? Doesn't have that, that Rose Buckler. Doesn't have that Dio's best friend. Doesn't have the, the four stickies and double crowbar. Might find the Aegis on the on the moon though. With the Rusty Key pickup. Unfortunate. He's got an Ahoy drone, though. That's something good to look for. Yeah. Something to be happy about. Imagine how much more there'd be with Aegis. True! With all that barrier and Actor's screen, I think the Aegis would contribute. In Actor's current loadout, it would do. Calculating, calculating, observing all the items. Literally nothing. Which is a ton, clearly. <laughs> Oh, man. I feel like the thing about Aegis, it's an item that you want to pick up, or is good to have, if you're looping, like, four times. Because it just costs, like, one red. And you find one, it's like, oh, that's cool. Because as you level up more and more, and get more and more infusions, some people say, well, well host, why don't you just get enough Topaz Brooch and you'll be fine. Yeah, but when you have 55 PSGs, 
your max health starts to become really, really high. And the Aegis can, can heal for you on that, while the, the brooches will, will start to lack a little bit. Alright, now I'm, I'm talking like Simulacrum Wave 200. <laughs> and at, at that point, it's just a matter of like, how high can I get this number, and, as opposed to, is this actually helping? Both racers just getting on the moon. Tyler, or not Tyler, Tyler's done. Wallywog, up on the right, has two minutes to get done with Phase 4 Mythrix. I think he's only going to be able to just about make it to Mythrix. We'll see if he can at least do that. My hypothesis is Wally's going to ping the soup. We'll see that there's Renalds is going to walk over, and that's going to be it. Which honestly, with 6 plus 5s, I don't blame him. At the same time, though, I feel like bands are a bit of bait. When you have Supercharge, when you have ATG, Ukulele, Sticky Bomb, Molten Perforator, that proc chain is just so good with a 3.0. It just takes like one proc and everything just instantly dies. And it looks like he's actually not going for it. All right. That's an L on my part. Molly just going up for the fight. Come on, you can make it to the ship. Or not ship, arena. <laughs> we'll see if we'll see if our referee here lets him do it. We'll see if Cheese is uh is generous. After just beginning the Mythrix fight now, is that the 3940? Mark? Alright, so has about 15 minutes. As long as Actor doesn't plus 5, it's going to be pretty comfortable. And Actor needs to die at least twice before that timer starts going up as well. Alright, I think we're... Oh, God. You don't want to spend that now. Not at the start of Phase 1. You have that Feather. You'll be really... really far away from Mythrix. The time has officially gone over for, for Wally to complete. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, Wally. You can make it. Cheese is on his phone. He's not looking. He's not paying attention. Finish before he notices. Uh-oh. Oh, no. No! Wally! Ah, oh, unfortunate. He's going to be given the message here in just a moment. As Cheese finally notices. Didn't let him go up. GG Zawali. Had a really, really good start. Was was on pace. Has the right idea in mind of, of how to continue throughout a run and how to just keep going and going, but just needs to work a little bit more on on dodging those shots and, and spatial awareness. Um I've seen some good things from Wally, we still got another world out. We could see uh Wally do good. Right? Um, and Steam get a placement. That could be cool. Go ahead and zoom in on Actor here and uh, skip ahead a little bit. So the message goes through while he concedes. GG. Oh, Alright. Oh, you did not. Oh, you know what? I think this loadout race was done before I told people to stop doing this. <laughs> uh, I eventually told people, hey, whenever someone finishes, just like keep all four up the same. All right, it's fine. We have a we have a different screen. We have a special screen for this. Yeah, this race. In case you didn't know, um, Tyler finished off week one. Oh, two watches broken. By the way, that's unfortunate. Um, Tyler had to go on vacation, or not had to, right, had a vacation planned and notified me ahead of time that he was going to be unable to partake in a couple of the races. I said, that's fine. And Kay was like, whoa, wait, hold up. So you're telling me I'm going to have to, to stomp two players. Wait, hold on. Is <laughs> Oh, no. One of the racers is starting... Wally, yeah, timeout. 
<laughs> oh no, Wally started the next loadout. Okay, she's gonna tell him that. Yo, what up, blub? I've only ever joined the stream two times. Both times you were messing with scenes in OBS. Maybe whenever I join, something breaks. Hmm. I hope not. But I think you broke Wally's attention span, as he already begins the next loadout without being told that he could start. Maybe there was a slight miscommunication. It's getting sorted now. There's a vine boom under favorites. Oh, can I click the vine boom? I want the vine boom. No, I can't. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, um, I guess I can explain the story here while we have the time. Um, now we can zoom ahead. Ooh, VLC? Come on. Alright, we're good. So... Tyler had to go on vacation, and, and, and Kay was like, wait, you're telling me I'm going to race two people who, you know, I don't even know how good or bad they're going to be. There's the, the, the Dio's death. Kay wants competition, and Kay went out of his way to reach out to everybody to try and arrange a time for the race. I told him, no, I want to go to sleep. I had just done two races, uh, casted just two races, um, and, and I didn't have everything all set up for, for a race. I didn't have a loadout card. That's a plus five. Go, walks right into the hammer. You gotta stop taking those hits. Use your feather actor. Use that feather. Run away. You've got three mochas. You got two hooves. I feel like actor is struggling with movement whenever he uses the, the wings. Right, because you do go a little bit faster, you do have a little bit more control, but it's also really awkward control, right? He's going to try and jump off the ground there, and thankfully had, had the feather to jump up. Yeah, K wanted to race and organized everyone at like 2 a.m. in the morning, my time. And Cheese was so, like, okay with the idea of refing a race at 2 a.m. It's probably like 3 a.m. right now for some of these racers. And some of the racers were like, uh, okay, we'll just, we'll do it without, without host permission. We'll see if it can count in the morning. And I was originally, when I woke up and I, I saw this happen, I'm like, wow, okay. They're just going to decide to do it without me. But I decided to let it ha happen. The fact that everyone was able to get together was able to make this a thing. I think it's cool. I think it would be better for us to have the four person race, even if it was outside of the, uh, the week two time frame. Uh, outside of the schedule, I decided it would it would be good content, and I think it was good content. I think we saw some cool things between uh, Tyler and Kay. We normally wouldn't have had them. Cheese also selected this random seed himself. I, uh, so you can thank Cheese for the uh, the god seed. He had a good one in mind. <laughs> totally handcrafted, clearly. Yeah, we see here, how are we looking on time? Well, we got 10, 15 minutes still to go, right? Would have only been 10 minutes if not for that, that Dio's best friend, which really comes in clutch here, perhaps. As actor, oh, I don't have the, the, the card. Here, let me get that up. Oh, I don't even have the right nameplates for this scene. That's fine. That's fine. I have like 55 different scenes here, chat. <laughs> this is actor. Here, I can just do this. Boom. An actor here towards the end of phase two with the two crowbars with the four sticky bombs narrowly dodges the orb with the, the molten perforator and the ukulele and ATG everything just so good with the what was that three topaz brooch makes it to phase three doesn't have the supercharge ready though We'll just have to... We'll see. I, honestly, if you're in a situation like this, maybe get one shot off with your M1. Don't shoot him again, or you're going to lose your crowbar. 
You can get like three supercharges in the course of one shot. Oh, Sour Spots it, though. That's unfortunate. With one sweet spot, with one headshot there, Mythrix would be going back to the center of the screen right now. And that's going to be a slap again. Those wings really making it awkward for, for Actor to try and run away. Finally, it wears off. And uh-oh. Oh, no. An exploder spawns right behind him when he's not ready, and those things will start shooting after about one second, not even a second after spawning in. They're really annoying and one of the enemies I just despise. <laughs> and Shockwave, you only have half health. And now, if it wasn't for that Dio's best friend... Well, that's a triple plus five right there. As Actor was unable to step away from Mythrix. And takes the hit. And we're going to be seeing the concede at this time. That's unfortunate. GG though. Made it real far. Played well. And, um... Yeah, it's like 3 a.m. for some of these racers. I'm surprised. If I was a racer and I was told, Hey, it's 3 a.m., can you race so that this other guy who's way better than you can, can step in? I'd be like, hell no. <laughs> no, I don't want to. I'm, I've already got a schedule. It's already there. And... I don't want to throw. <laughs> That's going to be GG for, for loadout one. Points are handed out. We can go ahead and move that back there and do that. Unfortunately, unable to compete, complete. Here are the standings, though. It's not too late for Actor or for Wallywog. Since there were no bonus points for either racer, um, all they need is a good uh, placement with bonus points. And first, if you just get first place, you go up to five points. Even if K gets in second, that's a tie. And it goes in the overtime. Goes into that tiebreaker round. Some other uh, tiebreaker scenarios that we could see. If Tyler... If he gets in first place and then K gets in second, there'll be a, a tiebreaker round between the two of them. We saw uh, K in the first round had a tiebreaker round against Baku. What, she won? We'll go ahead and hand out some points here. Or to many this run? No. There was not. Alright. Alright, here we go. Everyone's looking super bright. And here we go. Race number two is on the underway. Let's go ahead and fix that card up. As we are entering the second loadout. Captain with, I believe, healing and shock beacons? Where's that? There it is. Boom. I actually gotta... Don't mind me. Change the loadouts. I still gotta fix that for... Some odd reason it doesn't have a reference for either one. Oh, right. In the top left, still, is Actor with the... Was that, like, a, a tomato red? Um, maybe not quite a tomato. That's kind of like the... What do you call that tomato? I think that's a tomato. Maybe more of like a, a whitish holy apple. An apple that got frozen over. I don't know. But in the uh, top right still, Tyler, in second place with two points, has a goat hoof. Looking pretty good. Bottom left here, Wallywog with the hoof as well. And... Very similar shade of blue. Maybe a little bit brighter. Not as purplish. Not as blue-violet. And then we have K still in the classic pink. In first place with three points in the bottom right. Everyone's got some form of mobility. So that's good. I mean, just just look at this. I mean, you're, you're captain, right? One of the biggest problems in any captain loadout let alone a captain loadout that has orbital probes, is you have no mobility. If you have Diablo Strike, you can at least just insta-pop all the bosses and go from t TP to TP, and just hope you don't have to worry about your speed. But when you got the probes, things are going to live for a while. There's no wins to kill, so there's no one-shots. I mean, you got the speed shooting. For captain, but, but that's about it. Which we see K is doing right now. He's trying to remain inbounds 
while doing that, right? You don't want to run outside the TP boundary. Every second you waste outside of the TP zone is a second that you're not getting back. Okay, he's doing a good job with that. All right. Cap, uh, feel free to put out another gamble if you want. Gamble for scrapping microbots. That's not going to happen. I don't know anybody who would ever scrap mic uh, microbots, by the way. It never happens. Maybe on the moon from a soup or something. But that's about it. We see some equipment already. Tyler is opening up Molotov. So you got Molotov and you got Super Massive Leech. Would you have a Healing Beacon in place? Which would you rather want? I guess still the Healing Beacon. Or not Healing Beacon, uh, Super Leech. Nice, good some value. The, Mol the Molotov isn't doing anything. You can like maybe kill a Beetle Queen like 30% faster <laughs> with one throw on stage one, stage two. That's about it. Wally Log off to another good start, something we've, we've seen, right? And as as Hosting League continues to go through, as we see these racers do more and more loadouts, we're going to be seeing more and more sort of characteristics between uh, between the different competitors. Wally Log is really, really fast. Really fast pace oriented. Right, especially when you're in last place and you want to try and get in first. That's a good spirit to have. Some people at this point would just opt for a really slow play to try and at least get in third. All he wants that gold. He wants a good. He wants his first loadout to be a good one, or first win to be a good one. Completion, yeah, that'd be the term. I think we might get to see a Molotov here on Tyler's screen. Come on, come on, do it, do it. Yeah, look at that. You can almost see the damage. Like I can't tell what's from the Molotov and what's not. But that's a kill, and I can technically say that the Molotov helped speed that kill up. <laughs> By how much, I don't know. Maybe 10%? Oh, man. Case off the stage 2. Tyler had 60% here. Is there any discrepancies between uh, racers? Hmm. Well, no. Only about a 10 second difference at most. We see that between Wally and Tyler. So everyone's just about on the same pace in real time and uh, in game time. Except for K. K's ahead. Uses the beacons for the buttons. Keep in mind, this is uh, one of the first few abandoned aqueducts that we've seen here in the hosting league. I think we've seen it one or two other times. And this is an easy, easy, easy situation where you can go ahead and get uh, bands. Look how close these buttons are from spawn. Okay, it's teleported in the back part of the map. Went over to the island, used a button, or uh, used a a, uh, a beacon. Both start with B. Uses a beacon to get one button down. Gets the other button down with his feet. Luckily, both were really right close. Really right next to each other, right? It's going to be able to walk downstairs, be able to get those bands, and be able to do a whole lot more burst damage. That's a good play. I like it. Meanwhile, while K is already done with the gate opening and already entering the Elder fight, Wally, an unexpected person to beat, but, I mean, I wouldn't call it unexpected. We all know Wally's past. Has the early game down pretty well, has almost the same items. Just missing an energy drink. And a mocha. Okay, missing a lot of movement speed. That's actually gonna suck. That's unfortunate. <laughs> oh man, to be captain and not have one and a half speed items, that's gonna hurt in the long run. I give it until stage four. I'm always gonna start feeling it. Plus that whole time, you're getting from stage to stage slower. From chest to chest. That much slower. Actor, the last one of the bunch, makes it to stage four. We'll see what he does. Gets distracted by a bandolier. <laughs> uh, whenever I see bandoliers drop, I always think they're all like gorse tubs or something. And then I realize it's just the bandolier, and it's not doing much for me. 
Kay's got bands. Kay's got bands at the seven minute mark. Wow. You know something Kay doesn't have that everyone else has though? Kay might have gotten here a lot sooner. But he doesn't have a healing drum. No healing. No distraction, I should say. He does have healing. In the form of a uh, a beacon, in the form of a super massive leech. Oh, there's another band right next to TP. That's going to be even better for K. Though it doesn't have nearly that advantage of having that, that easy phase 4 skip that everyone else is probably going to pick up, given how close that chest is to TP. We're going to see some good speed shoots. Observe. Get ready. I know K can do it. Come on. Okay, he's going to take out the ads first. This is a good idea. You always want to make sure that it, the scene is safe, the place is clear. Oh, he doesn't even want to speed shoot. Okay, well... I guess we don't really need to, to be fair. It's gonna be a really easy TP fight for everyone that starts to TP, um, assuming before the, like, the 15-16 minute mark. Yeah, there we go. Bollywog doing some uh, speed shooting. Let's use some more. Come on. Come on. Boom, 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 boom. Easy. Nice. Well done. Wally has been doing a lot of practice with a lot of racing stuff. That's someone who, despite having three DNF so far, expect to see Wally towards the end of the league, towards the later weeks, do a lot better. Because he is determined to practice. Not all the racers have all the time to really get in those reps. But Wally's going to the gym, and that, that shows right there. He knows his speed shooting. Everyone that doesn't know speed shooting is going to be at a disadvantage when going up against Wally. Well done. Tyler, by the way, just got his bands. About three minutes behind K in real uh, in terms of uh, actions. Maybe just about two minutes. It's going to be going over the TP. Oh. K paused his game to... Uh, <laughs> to... To, to DDoS uh, someone, as uh, Tyler's internet drops a little bit there. Said it was, or it was uh, the ref who dropped a little bit. Good tech. Really good tech. Oh, oh, oh. Gets hit into a pot. Is down to 100 health, but puts down the healing beacon, I believe. Yeah, there you go. Uses both beacons, opts not to do speed shooting, which is fine. We've seen K do some speed shoots. Or uh, do no speed shoots and, and still have a really easy TP fight, but he's taking a lot of shots. Oh man, Tyler, be careful. You're on stage two. You need to get first place here. Unless K really messes up, or in case one of the other racers really sneak in first. Which at this point could happen. Everyone's on very similar ground. Tyler with the gasoline gets the ignition tank. Kay also has that. Is there anyone that doesn't have the, the gasoline? No, everyone has it. Very nice. And Tyler's already at full health. Boom. Giga value from the healing beacon. That's what I like to see. Unfortunately, Tyler did lose his uh, healing or healing drone. So, air enemies and stuff, that's going to be a little bit more of a pro uh, troublesome down the line. Also has to buy another drone for the Mythrix fight, if he wants it to be a lot easier. Right, there's no feather yet in this run. There's no safer spaces, no bundle of opals, no wings, no egg. Okay, well, there is an opal. In that, in that try shop. Okay, farming a little bit of the pennies there. And, uh oh I missed that. I missed a lot of stuff. Okay, hold up. I'm gonna call, I'm gonna call multiple things at the same time here. Observe the left side of the screen. We have Actor and we have Wally. Wally's on the right, Actor's on the left. Here's Actor, really struggling. You know, okay, maybe getting back to full health, that's good. Dealing with those overloading beetles. Boom. Movement speed, not the best. Has a mocha, has an energy drink. Starts getting sucked. Runs into the... T uh, the clay pot, the dune strider, and dies. And while right as that happens, right as that plus five takes place, we go down. 
Mollywog. Finds a chance shrine, hits it twice. Gets a pocket ICBM. We'll see if anyone else gets that. It's really far out of the way, and I don't think there's going to be a single other racer that finds that ICBM in... Oh. Well, I'm a big dummy. K already has it. How did K find that? Oh, come on. You're telling me K, after the TP, walked halfway across the stage, found the chance shrine, and hit it twice? Inside that, that little cove? Hmm. Interesting. Well... That's fine. That's, there's a reason why he's he's uh, so good, so renowned. He knows how to get that loot. It's a skill. Does Actor have pennies? Yes. So I get, at least Actor, despite having the plus five, does have a five hundred dollars. Molly, by the way, did not get the uh, did not go for bands. So is bandless. Unfortunate. It's the opal, though. Did anyone else go for the... Did uh, K go for the opal? No, K went for the firework. There was firework, there was crit, and there was opal. And he went for firework, thinking about the ICBM. It's honestly a good play. You want to be able to have some form of missile. Right? Take advantage of your, uh, of your ICBM. Okay, okay, I thought it was in the way back of the map. Yeah, looking at a uh, tile worth screen, that, that chance shrine's actually pretty close. I thought it was like the other half of that valley. That's no, fine, I think everyone's gonna get that. Everyone except for maybe Actor, who's already walking back, doesn't go down that valley, opts to, to go through the other path, is gonna activate the TP, and be without ICBM. For someone who's looking to get his first bone or first point in a race, that's not looking good. Not looking good. See a uh, infusion for the boss item TP three. Four K for everyone else who gets that TP. Looking around, trying to scout out. A lot of times what racers will do when they're done with the TP, especially early on. Um, and it's something that, that you want to see more people doing. Is you got to try and take advantage of every second while you're in that TP zone. Try to scout out, try to find every single item that's locked currently. Every single thing that is currently in that, that little red cross, right? That you can't open up until TP's done. Oh wow, Beetle Guard makes a little bit of a gamer jump on case screen. You want to try and find as many chests... Because as soon as that TP's done, you gotta go, go, go. You gotta formulate your plan. Right, is K gonna go for that chest and then run up the uh, the little C? The little structure? Oh, he's not even gonna go for it yet. He's gonna try and come back for that after. He's gonna backtrack. Hopefully he remembers that ukulele that just dropped. Fun fact about K, he loves ukulele. And he's uh, apparently washed, as uh, Sulky says in chat. <laughs> What up, Sulky? Uh. What's that printer? K pings a printer. None of us can understand it. If anyone understands Japanese, let us know what that is. I'm assuming it's not anything that's... Oh, it's actually something kind of good. He's going for a scrap. He'll come back for the scrap, right? Can't wait on the scrapper for too long. It takes time. Yeah, Actor doesn't have, uh, take a look at Actor's uh, inventory. He gets another firework, by the way. Only the one fire band from the T uh, that was right next to TP. Has a plus five. Has decent mobility, but no ICBM. Everyone else has mobility to an extent. Oh, wait, no, that wasn't the part I was thinking of. But everyone else has those bands. At least either has the bands or has the ICBM. Actor has neither. And Clay Dude Strider gets wrecked by the uh, Preon. A good Preon hug by Tywar. Who's finally getting that infusion. Still needs a lot to do to catch up to K, though. Who I would say K is probably a solid. He's like three, three and a half minutes ahead of it at this point. He's taking his time. 
the racers know here that if they make it to Sunder Grove, everything's going to go downhill. Right? You want to try and loot this stage, this safe stage. Uh, Scorched Acres is essentially free. There's not really anything you have to worry about here. The enemies move slow. Um, there's no DLC enemies that are going to, like, randomly annihilate you, right? No um, larva that are overloading, that are hiding inside printers that just explode and then you instantly plus five. No gup that spawn on you. None of that. See, Wally's getting that watch printer. Does have firework. Don't, has up to six watches. Stop. Oh my god. Okay, okay. He's got scrap. I would honestly hold on to a scrap. I don't think you need six watches. Especially with your history. What's the stat? I think like 80% of watches get broken in a loadout race. Really don't want to be a part of that statistic. We go actor with the uh, the teleport. Struggled with uh, Dune Striders last time. We'll see how we can handle it this time around. Right, you don't want to walk into it. It's doing some damage. There we go. Easy. Takes him out. Gets the infusion. Good stuff, actor. Tyler also just beginning the TP, but K is beginning the TP on stage four. Oh, wow. Look at this. Double Larva almost hit. Ukulele, though, alongside Gasoline. Absolutely annihilates that second Larva before it can land on the ground. Let's take a look at K here while everyone else is kind of chilling out. Still has one Titan to go for. Are we going to see some speed shooting? No. It's going to hide. Got to be careful around walls like that. Sometimes the larvae like to just slam themselves in a wall, like on the other side. Or it's at some random area, and they kill you in the process. Ooh, that's a band. Band drops from the TP on stage 4. That's huge. That means both Tywar and K are going to have two of each band. And they both have Prion as well. The only person, in fact, who doesn't have Prion right now is Wally, who's going for a different bit of a strategy here. Crowdfunder. Now, what do you have right now that can really go well with Crowdfunder if you're Wally? Well, you got... Uh... Watches? I guess your bullets are doing more damage. It's, there's not really anything good with that Crowdfunder right now. Hmm. The jellyfish ran right in front of the, uh, the Prion. Did, uh, I missed that. Did we have a uh, get down Mr. President moment? Ooh, Shattering Justice. Tyler hesitates for a second, opts not to take it. Clock is ticking. And is going to go to stage four. Right, none of the racers here want to go to um, Sundered Grove until they know they're confident in this stage. It's a little bit of a slower loadout with the uh, orbital probes. Okay, going for the adaptive chest. Goes for... Uh oh, look out, larva. Random larva. Misses a few good items. I think there was an ATG. There was a capacitor. Oh, man, I misses out on the capacitor. Luckily, the, the mistake item is a energy drink. So that's still a good trade, right? But Prion with, with Captain on the moon? Not my first choice. <laughs> Doable, but maybe with some opal and maybe with a little bit of, I don't know, maybe safer spaces or, or, or at least a feather. You got to get in and get out when you throw in that Prion. Unless it's the initial one, because then he just goes up and doesn't hurt you. All right, Sky Meadow for K. Having a two-stage differential. Oh! Ooh! There's a Royal Capacitor on Actor Screen in that uh, multi-shop. The yeah, equipment multi-shop. There was a Royal Capacitor. Now, the problem, again, is, is, is Actor only has one band. We'll get another band after completing the Stage 4 TP. Personally, if if I'm not if I was a racer who wasn't the most confident in Prion, I haven't watched Actor do uh, any Prion attempts in any Risk of Rain runs, but I would go for it. 
even with just the one fire band. All right, you've got the watch printer and everything. Yeah, he's scrapping. He saw the watch printer. So can, all right, I can get rid of Bungus. I can get rid of this firework, this penny. We got like five watches, still double damage. I guess he's just thinking about the Giga Preon. Try and go for a one-shot on Mythrix, right? Doesn't have the, uh, the Diablo, but that doesn't matter. Now when you have five watches, you just don't want to break them. All these racers here, except for Tyler, have a lot of watches. Tyler didn't go for any, that's interesting. I feel like you'd at least want one or two to have a 40% uh, increase in damage. Tyler actually going for uh, Recycler into this TP event. Okay, that's interesting. Right, opted to give up the, uh, the Prey on, at least temporarily. I don't know, maybe he's thinking oh, I can have the, the Recycler and I can recycle whatever the boss item is. Right, the boss items here suck. So maybe he's thinking he can, can roll like a Churf or something. Hmm. Wally takes a red whip. That's a good call. Right, Wally at this point, up until that red whip, only had the energy, or uh, Goat Hoof. Right, no other mochas, no energy drink. Was just relying on a, on a, on a hoof. So that's going to help a bit, at least get it from getting from point to point. Um... The other racers, though. I'm seeing one mocha, one drink on actor. Tyler and Kay have a lot of speed. They understand. Having mobility on Captain, I feel like you almost always need at least three or so uh, hooves of mobility. If you don't have, like, a vase or something. Because what ends up happening is if you, you encounter, like, a Zy construct, and you just can't outrun the beam, and it just instantly fries you. Right, your microbots will not zap that beam. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> Tyler done with the TP. Opted not to recycle. The band, clearly. Ooh. Ooh, okay, so there's empathy cores. As the uh, the boss side for stage 5, K just found those. Observe. Empathy cores in all their glory. Beaming away at some of the enemies. Uh, ooh, ooh. Tyler on adaptive. Will he get the capacitor? Now he doesn't want it. He gets a shipping request form. Recycles it though. Gets a bandolier. Wow. <laughs> so uh, cycles through some of the recycler, I guess. Wally just getting the ice band. Honestly, not too far behind from Tyler. Wally is. Might be a little bit different with the loadout, but, I mean. Wait, where did it... Wally found an ice band that no one else had. Okay. And that must have been on stage four. An extra ice band. Maybe Tyler could find that. Still got 1,500 bucks. Actor, you gotta hide. Okay, he's good from the, the vagrant there. I remember Actor on uh, on his first loadout race really was struggling with those wandering vagrants. I think on the captain or uh, commando loadout, plus five like three times on stage one. Oh, what a flick shot! All right, I haven't been pausing too much because we do have two loadouts or uh, two races to go through. I'm gonna VLC bit rate for a second. Okay, watch this. This will instantly kill Actor if it does not die. Or if Actor like somehow out jukes and gets like the sour spot hit on this thing, he might be fine. But there's also that laser. Observe. Flick shot, boom. Knocks it away. And it's gonna be able to survive. Well played. Good stuff, Actor. Huge highlight. That was a flick. That was a that was like a, a two-frame flick. That prevented a plus five. What a gamer. What a legend. Yeah, there was an a uh, ATG in the uh, the adaptive. We'll see if uh, we'll see if if Actor can get it here. Nope. Just goes for the uh, the lens makers. 
Doesn't really want anything else. Receive something good? Hey, that's a good item. It's early on. I don't want to end up with a, with a bandolier like Tylor, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And... On top of uh, four watches, now has two crit. Which is pretty good. Still got to activate the TP, though, if you're actor. Well, we found a bandolier and wants to recycle it, leaving it on the ground. Yeah, you really don't want to do that too much, though. When you're racing like this, unless you're really not feeling good, not really feeling too confident about the next stage. Adaptive. Doesn't take the crit. And what's healing? Hmm. And what healing do you already have? Slug is a good healing item. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Alright, I gotta go back in time for Actor here. Keep in mind, Actor just... No! 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 I hate that! I hate that! I hate that! I hate that! Oh my god. Oh no. Okay. You can't tell me that Gup are a stupid fucking enemy. Oh man. When this happens... La da 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 da, look at me, I'm captain, only at 30, 26 minutes real time, just having a good time. Oh, look at this vent, totally nothing, not two gup are gonna spawn. Oh no, two gup spawned, I have to throw myself off a cliff or to kill it. Oh, can't do it, guess the watches are gone. Oh darn. Now you did have a taser. You could have used the taser there. And then you would have had to found, like jump off. You just have to jump and take the damage. Yeah, there the gup comes again. Or, no, a jellyfish. Something came from behind. And blasted actor there. Unfortunate. God, I hate gup. I hate gup so much. Uh, when when two gup spawn right on top of you, you just gotta. It's a, a reflex you build over time of, of think fast, right? You get one second. Boom! Jump scare. And they said Risk of Rain 2 wasn't a horror game. Just show him that. Just show him a clip of that. Don't make him think otherwise. Now stuck on two plus fives, having to finish within 30 minutes after whichever racer gets a first, assuming no plus fives happen on the others. About to die again, actor really in trouble with these larvae and just isn't paying attention to the gut behind. Oh no. Oh no. Run away. Run away. No, you don't have time. You have to get further away. Oh, that gup's going to get you. Yep. Yep. Oh, but the gup looks like 10 meters away from me. I'm totally fine, right? I've got plenty of distance. Nope. Gup are not melee enemy. They're ranged. They have a huge range. They get the, uh, the stun uh, tower down, though. Stun beacon. Gonna be able to take care of at least one of those gup. And there's another gup. Oh, it's guppening. It's guppening right now. Oh my god. Gup get another hit. Even if stunned... If you hit a stunned enemy, they get unstunned. And an actor just really, really, really wants to kill that damn mending mushroom. Gets the kill on it. Costs them five minutes. You really just gotta stop taking those plus fives. That, that, those gup. Those damn gup. And in one moment, only at one plus five, suddenly looking at three, 15 additional minutes on the clock. And there's a stone titan getting a lot of damage. Look out for the larva. And this is why the racers were taking so much time leading up to stage four. Keep in mind, Actor also, on top of this 20 minutes of additional time, also lost 80% damage from watches. It's now doing like 60%, 55% of what he used to be doing. At least gets the ice band to help a little bit out, but it's really gonna need some some help here from from K and Tylor and and everyone to to just hold off the the victory to just plus five a couple more times. You don't want to walk out with a double DNF the second time in a row. But I don't know if that's gonna happen again. Keep in mind, actor didn't get the pocket ICBM. Wally did. Wally sees the empathy cords. Ooh, do you recycle? Wars are nice, and you only have an opal. You don't have a feather. I would pick it up. Yeah. We'll never know what the recycle is for that, but... Having cores when you don't have any opal? Or just one opal? Right, none of these racers have feather. K's on the moon. With no feather. With no opal. 
a ceremonial dagger that he found. It's trivial at this point. I'm actually kind of nervous for Kay. With Orbital Probe Mithrix? Yeah, you've got the Preon. How are you going to get away with that Preon? We'll have to see. Tyler at least has an Opal. Right? And has that Crowbar Printer. Kay didn't go into that. No, with the bands, though, you probably don't want to go for the crowbars. Oh, there's the uh, ice band that uh, Actor just found. It was underground in the little cave and, and grove in a tri shop. And also gets the red whip that that, uh, that Wally picked up earlier. Okay, done with his first uh, pillar. Is opting to use healing beacons to try and get his health back up so he can go for the next pillar, but just has to, sees that there's no enemies and decides now's the time. It's gonna try and... Yeah, has to uh, do this weird parkour to get to it, right? No feather. is captain. Uses a prey on blast to try and take care of some of the enemies there, and and suddenly the golems decide they want to spawn right before he gets to the beacon, or to the shrine. No. I said beacon, I said shrine. Both of those are wrong. It's a pillar. It's evil, and he's going to have to go back to heal. Meanwhile, Tylor just got to commencement. Feeling pretty good. I don't know whose situation I like more right now. I almost feel like I like Wally's. And then you just, like, I don't know, find an equipment and reroll it and get, like, a vase or something and don't have to do pillars. Or maybe wings or egg. Maybe he finds a feather. It's a fuel cell. At least one some sort of equipment, though. <sighs> Chat, who do you think, and if you were in this race for refing, don't don't answer. Who do you think is going to win right now? With the current situation right here, as it stands. Who's looking the best? Wally got egg? Oh, yeah, there it is. There's the reroll. Tile over? Hmm. I don't know, with that egg, if you get slapped by Mithrix, you can just kind of use the egg and be fine. I like Ty I like uh, Wally's the most. I think some of the some of the uh, the people on the right might plus five during this fight. We'll see though. I mean, if they can can pull off a uh, a good prey on or two, maybe they'll be okay. Believe in the Wally comeback? I do too. I think it's 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 definitely possible. I put it at a high chance. Wally at the same time though, right? Has the seven uh, watches. If Wally dies once or loses his watches, it's all gone for him. Right? Wally's the only one with with the, that many watches. Actor's got to deal with a whole Zai construct. Missed his prey on because Zai's are super fast and super annoying. Is at five plus fives. And K begins to fight. We'll see what he could do. Pulls him back. It, it's really hard in a situation like like this. I've had situations in runs when I'm playing as captain where I just had to walk away and let my empathy course do all the work. K does have a good amount of drones, though. And same with Tyler. That's what he's got to use. He does get a prey on in, but that that's not good damage. That did not do much. Yep, there we go. Already half health. And Tyler right next to a perfected Chimera Wisp. I think it's on one of his drones right now. And, well, yeah, you gotta kill that thing. Wally Wog on the moon now. Does have a, a fuel cell. If Wally's practiced his, his egg skips, I believe. Oh, I think Captain needs a feather. I think you need a feather on Captain to do a uh, egg skip. So I don't know if he'll be able to pull that off. K lost both his watches. You can always do two eggs. Wait, what am I thinking of then? I swear you just have to like do a feather with egg. Maybe maybe I'm thinking back to like 2021 where we didn't know tech at all. But Wally says you can always do two eggs. I'll have to trust him. We'll see uh, if that's true. 
Well, he's going to have to use two eggs. I think he used that to try and, and get over the uh, Perfected Chimera Wisps. We'll see. Okay, halfway done with phase one. Luckily, he did a plus five. Right, at 35 minutes. If everyone messes up big time and Wally just doesn't die. Oh, there you go. Thought he got some fall damage on Mythrix. It's really hard to try and fall damage Mythrix with the rock. There's nothing saying you can't fall damage Mythrix in this league, so so K is deciding to try and, and use that. And takes a plus five. It's not easy to do that. It's not easy to pull it off. But K just uses the invincibility from the plus five, the the knockback immunity. To try and get in that prey on, and Mythrix is still, still just chilling. Oh, Kay didn't spawn with beacons. That's unfortunate. And yep, that's that's a that's a problem with with um with the mod. It's happened to me many times, in actual loadout races in the past, and it's just RNG. <laughs> You don't want a plus five as captain. You don't get the beacons back. You lose speed shooting. Everything's going to be slow for K now in phase two. As he takes another hit. Wasn't able to try and, and, and get Mythrix with the fall damage. Wally, meanwhile. Pillar skipped. Didn't have to do pillars. Boom. And the fight has the egg. Actor's still only at five plus fives. Honestly, shout out to Actor for not dying yet on stage 5. Tyler hasn't even active or gotten to the moon or uh, to the fight yet. I think he just finished up his second pillar. Now you got to be careful here. If you're in Wally's shoes, you have the chance to take down two Titans. To take down two Titans in this league who probably are getting like first place every loadout. Uh-oh. 12 seconds. Try to land on a Okay, okay. Sh and there you go, the drones are focused on him. If you lose those watches, it's going to be really tough for you, even with those eggs. At least the people with the prions, they're, they might plus five, four or five times. Oh, you at least got to do some damage, though. Oh, Tyler's not even, not even done with any pillars yet. Just opts to do soul pillar. Oh boy. Almost got Mythrix down. There you go. It's going to be a lot easier for Wally here. All you got to do is stay st uh, stay back a bit. You don't have to be too aggressive, right? There's no damage fall off on Captain. Just get a few shots in on Mythrix. Use your, uh, your orbital probes every chance you can get when Mythrix is standing still. Oh, he's going to go for speed shoot. Oh, you could go for speed shoot and egg. That could be really good. K, really in trouble here at 55 health, 79, 80. Gets off a of prey on, but dies. Second plus five for K. Wally Wog, meanwhile, halfway done with phase one Mythrix. Zero plus fives. K's going to give us a message. Did he get the... No. Plus fives does not get back the beacons. Can someone fix that? Why hasn't that been fixed yet <laughs> in this mod? I don't know if it's fixed on the official version, but in the uh, the public version of the mod, it's it's really needing attention. Yeah, he's in trouble. He cannot peek while those are shooting. Thought they were targeting the drones. Tyler, meanwhile, just finishes up his second soul pillar. Did not plus five. It's looking okay-ish. We'll see if he gets in a similar situation as K. At least has an opal, though. But if he gets, like, hammered up by Mythrix, it's probably going to be a plus five. Even with a double opal, right? You get swiped up, but it's when you land. That's when the damage happens. Actor, meanwhile, has taken two additional plus fives and is currently standing at 75 minutes. The total was seven. But does have a scorpion. When did Actor get a scorp? Was that from uh from Blue Portal? Oh wow. 
I'm sure a lot of these racers here would be, would be really, really wanting that. K finally gets his beacons back, by the way. After his uh, third plus five. What's the numbers uh, mean next to the names? That is their current position in the league. So Tyler's currently in second place overall out of 28 people. So we have two of the, some of the, the better racers out there. Uh, currently from week one. Uh, with two of the uh, less fortunate, we'll say. Okay, finally looking a little bit better here. With the healing beacon down, able to heal up. But Wallywog! Deathless! Out of phase two, looking pretty good! Speed shooting, bam, 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 bam! Don't die. Do not die. Hang on there. Come on, Wally. You can do it. Three DNFs up to this point, and now you have a chance not only to maybe get in first place, but if Tyler starts messing up at some point? Wait, why are we timing out? Oh, is it about the beacons? Alright. I think it might be something... Maybe he's talking about the beacons. Yeah, there's, there's nothing we can do about those. That's just the glitch with the mod. That's a glitch with Risk of Rain 2. And until Hopu fixes that first stop, it's going to keep happening. I don't know why. Why is that a bug? Why is that an issue? <laughs> uh, but it's just going to be a default part of the game. Until something happens there. We'll skip ahead a little bit. Scorp would have been good with Crunder. Oh, I mean, it would be nice with Crowdfunder. I would definitely want the egg or, or the prey on, though. Right, you have Captain Shotgun, it's going to do a lot of, of uh, procs anyway. It'd be good, though. Alright, timeout's resumed. They talked it through for a little bit. Everyone can resume and keep playing. Including Actor. He was about to host. Who dies of fall damage. It's alright, not the only one that did it this run. Oh, uh-oh. Uh oh, Wally had it. Wally was doing so good. I think we gotta we gotta take a look at this here because this was a huge moment. I was getting distracted by the hosting. There you go. There's your VLC. All right, people come back. Out of resume. And I don't know if maybe he just wasn't thinking of what was going on. Sees that it's like oh I gotta speed shoot that down. But while he's speed shooting that, accidentally places down his beacon and is surrounded. There, there is a wisp on each side, tries to get the egg and an attempt to try an, an egg proc, which was a nice initial thought. Walking head first into a golem is not a smart idea. And that's going to be a plus five. And now Wally has more than halved his damage, loses seven watches, and is only doing, what, like five twelfths? Less than, less than half of what he used to be. Unfortunate. We'll see what he can do here. But with such an advantage, with such a good position, he really wanted to see a little bit more. It was a good attempt, but now it's probably tilting, minus seven watches. You got You just gotta get through with it. You at least didn't lose your beacons like Kate did. You got a little bit more lucky. I swear, it's like a 50-50, whether or not you lose it. The game either just gives you a middle finger or, or gives you a thumbs up. Okay, he's got to be real careful here. Yeah, you just want to get to phase four. Thankfully, he doesn't get hit by any of those shots. And Tylor here, handling phase one much better. Right, has those two opals. Has some experience with this. Not his first rodeo. Is going to kill Mythrix, right? Tyler here, right? Wally just took a second plus five as well. Is maybe if he could just just run away, could be in a better spot, right? Try to let some of those drones get a little more aggro, and, and give yourself a, a chance to heal up. Oh no, healing beacons in one. Oh no, oh Wally, use your egg, run away. Oh boy. Yeah, losing those watches, it's... 
That's one you want to have to. You're gonna want to play back and think about. You just really gotta know when you have it good. Tunnel got a huge. Oh wait, no, it was, uh, K got a good fire or prey on accumulator proc. I was able to get rid of the microbot on Mythrix, and after a pretty lengthy phase four, is running away from the. Uh, Empathy cores. Gets Matrix kill. Nice. Well done, K. Only three plus fives. We'll see what um what Tyler can do. If Tyler could finish this, we'll be either seeing a uh, a tiebreaker if it's within five minutes. But if it's over five minutes, if Tyler can beat K within five over five minutes, he just wins. He gets first place. Still 10 minute. Uh, Tyler has a 15 minute advantage over K. Who's not in such a good spot? Actor, 40 minutes behind, right? At that 8 plus 5 minute or mo mark, which means the second someone finishes, if they have no plus 5s, you will have to concede. Which is, well, not ideal. But you want to keep going, right? If you plus 5 8 times, odds are there's at least someone else out there struggling. Wally currently just uh, is, is stuck. Stuck in a death loop, not doing any damage to Mythrix. Needs to get Mythrix below that 75% threshold. Is getting his beacons back after every death. Luckily, you don't want to be in a position where you don't get him back. So again, really, really, really don't want to die. Right, without seven watches, without I don't know, maybe try and use your egg for ice for, for band procs. Here's your chance, try and go for it. And I'll proc a uh, an exploder. Mythrix at about 80% health. And no, you, you don't have time to focus on golems. You gotta get Mythrix down to 75. Come on, Wally. Hang in there. Tyler's hanging in. Tyler lost his watch. Tyler really playing with fire here, but kind of has to. He's thinking about how can he use that prey on, and well, he can use that prey on the second Mythrix goes back into the center. Or even better, instead of waiting to the center, wait till pizza. Runs away from the shockwave. Actor with a plus five there. That's not going to matter too much. Get ready. Here's the pizza. Here's the prey on. Charging it up. And his game freezes for a second. There it goes. Look at the damage on that. Mythrix is already almost dead. And Tyler is in a great position here. With only 30,000 health left on Mythrix. Look at this. No plus fives. No opals. His game freezes. But it's kind of convenient that K is going to finish up the TP at 60 minutes. And force the concede from Actor. Oh, I know he's... Tyler's coming back. Here comes another pizza. Oh, man, there's so much going on here. K finishes up at 60 minutes and 33 seconds. And that's for first place. Wow. GGK managing the finish off. Oh, Tyler got a plus five. Not getting double bonus points anymore. You got to win with bonus points by 55-33. Tyler is running out of time until it's a tiebreaker. All right, the, uh, the timeout's called. This is going to be an actor concede. GG's to actor. Again, just didn't find the right items. Um, struggled a bit on, on stage four. And just really went downhill from there. GG, though, we'll see uh, Actor for a few more weeks here. Uh, we'll see him in, th in week three, obviously. Just because it's not, you know, it's been a little rough for him. There's still plenty of time to improve and to, to really climb back up that ladder. But we move into two individuals here, two racers. Wally Wog with a plus five. 
That was not uh, Tyler. Tyler is on the left. 60 minutes and 33 seconds. Again. Tyler down to about 8 minutes. 3 minutes if he wants the bonus points. And he's got to get on there with about 2 minutes for the ship charge. Oh, oh, there it is. There's the prey on phase 4 skip. Hold it off. Says garbage. Take that back, Tyler. You only plus one, five one time. Could have been flawless. Could have gotten two bonus points. K is going to be able to deny it, but Tyler's going to win this race if he doesn't die. Oh my god. No way. Hold on to your seats. Chad ain't over. He's got to make it to the ship. I know... A lot of people are thinking, it's just the ship charge host. Don't make such a big deal. It's already over. It's not over till it's over. Tyler is going up. K is sending a message to Tyler. What do you say, tiebreaker? <laughs> I think K just said tiebreaker to him. No conspiring. <laughs> what are you doing, K? Oh, Tyler freezes a little bit. Internet, there, it's back. So Tyler's going to be finishing up. Oh, it's so close. 54, has about 30 seconds to get to that ship. Needs to be able to charge it up. Wally Wog, by the way, only has 10 minutes before, before he just fully has to concede this loadout. What was originally looking so good with those watches. Just wasn't able to get the damage in on, on the start of Phase 3 for Wally again. He's going to be able to get some fireworks, but gets stuck on his own drone while he's running. Barely manages to surprise, dodge that pizza slice. Oh man, 30 health. Not looking good for Wally. One shot from death. Metrix is running at him. Tyler, though, 54-47, 40, 48-49. Wally gets a plus 5. It's going to need to be flawless from here on out. If he dies one more time, he will have to concede. Which, with, with so many plus fives at this point, probably isn't thinking about last. this one's the last one. And that's the mentality you got to have. You always got to be thinking, is this my last life? i got to treat it like it is. Tyler, 55-01? Fifty-five oh one. Sixty thirty-three was case time. We gotta pause here. Fifty-four fifty-nine. Observe chat. We're gonna have, let's see, I need this. Here's K and here's Tyler. Tyler! At fifty-four fifty-nine on the clock? That is five minutes and thirty-four seconds faster than K's time. K with three plus fives. Just, just really struggled on, on that Mithrix fight where, you know, beacons or not, right? You were, he, he died on phase one a bunch and lost those watches so early. Tyler held on to his, was landing his prions, was, was just doing everything right. Is that seven opals I see? How many, how many opals did, did Tyler print? <laughs> oh, what a play. Is that two or seven? If it's seven, he probably could have just host skipped. Now, regardless, I mean that's that's a, a first place for Tyler with bonus points, and and we're gonna see plus four points ending up at six points. K is only gonna be getting two, and 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 loses by a point. But it's not over yet. Wally still has a chance here. As we see, the time to complete is going to be... What is that? 54.59? So, 94.59 is the time to complete for Wally. Can he do it? He's at about 90 minutes and 35 seconds. It's down to about 300 health. Cannot die. Or it's going to be a DNF. 
just really needs to hold on again. This, act like it's your last life. Right? If you die, it's plus five minutes. Oh, man. There we go. That's going to be good landing. Good shots. But it's time for another pizza. And Mithrix still has... I can't really tell with the, the HUD being so small. <laughs> Unfortunate. I let him. I let him have the small huds because they like it, and it's a competitive league here. But while he's taking hits, Metrix is taking hits. You got to go up the egg. You got to go up. You, okay, maybe not. Maybe it's targeting a, a, a core. He runs away. Oh man, gets an egg hit. Really risky, but but getting that damage in. Metrix is going back up to the center. Going to be able to get some. Some band procs once pizza begins. Oh, starts right on top. Turns around. Now's your chance. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, no. It was just barely faster than him. And that's going to pull him above the 95-minute mark. Oh, it was so good. He was starting to pull back just a bit. Things were looking a little bit more possible, a little bit more real. But just narrowly. Narrowly gets like like the, the loop on the end of his shoe. What do they call that? The, the bootstrap? Gets him right in the bootstrap. And once Chase looks down from his phone, is going to see that, that 54, 59 plus, plus 40 is, is later than that time there. And, well, there's a timeout called. GG. A good attempt from Wally and from Actor again. Really close this time, and, and really just had the potential to maybe get a, in second place. Maybe even in first, who knows? With with Tyler plus fiving once there, if, if there was no deaths, Wally could have had that. Would have been, would have been boom. But GG to Actor, GG to, to Wally. They had a really, really steep climb, a really hard early schedule. And hopefully it gets a little, I think it gets easier for them from here on out. Um... But to be up against both Tyler and K, <laughs> oh, good luck. Uh, GG's. We'll play to both. Tyler really played like he was the second seed, and he's probably going to hold on to that position with that completion. Um, with that bonus point even in hand. All right, finishing at six. Pretty good. GG's.